So now let's talk about Caro, which of course is a private school operator here in South Africa. It has built schools, it has people that are uh, at their establishments now in the tens of thousands, clearly in an environment where state schooling has been in trouble. Headquartered in Cape Town, started out in Durbanville back in the late 90s. It's grown to a market capitalization of 18.6 billion rand. Wow, it's been a huge success for shareholders. Its major shareholder, of course, is the PSG group, Yanni Mouton and his colleagues. So on a price to earnings ratio of 129, it typically is on such a high valuation. It's not a dividend pay. If anything, it's a capital hungry business. Absolutely. Every time you turn around, they're having a rights issue. Correct. Um, this, look, there have been a lot of naysayers on Curro, yeah. and um, I think that you know one really has to unpack um, why it trades at such a high multiple, and that is because you have to have a five-year to ten-year view yes. on this business. Um, a lot of the schools that they have built are in their sort of early incubancy phase. Yes, so phases. they're kind of new. In some cases, the buildings are new, and occupancies aren't as high as they need to be, but it's gathering momentum. Yeah. Correct, and it's a land grab. It's like the old hospitals businesses. You, yeah. know, you, ha it, you had to have the footprint to build the businesses, and then you, yeah. once you've got the catchment area, nobody can compete with you. There's the share price. So you see it had a bit of a spike there, end of 2015, 2016. I guess maybe people got carried away a bit, but it's looking good since then. Huh? I think what's quite interesting about that chart is if you look at the fourth quarter of each year, it has a little rally. And I think that's... <laughs> that? uh, well, that's really time. <laughs> <laughs> well, really what you get insight into is uh, occupancy numbers as they yeah. start to report their results. Um, that gives you insight into the following year and sort yeah. of what sort of occupancy levels they're at. And obviously they, are, they have exceeded expectations. Um, and the management team under Chris Van Amerva has been very good at selling the story and raising capital from all sorts of sources, not only shareholders. Yeah, I mean, it is, in a way, it is a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy in that sense because the high rating, the, mm. you know, the traditional 200p that they have traded on has obviously assisted them in being able to um, issue expensive paper yeah. and put it into yeah. the ground and raise capital. Yeah. Um, so it does become a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy. I think, you know, one has to take a forward view and say it's not on a 200p ratio today. What is What sort of... What's the P unwind yes. and what is it trading on in, on twen in 2020? And I think you'll probably find that this company should command a much higher yeah. rating than a hospital because you've got your customers for 12 years plus and you've got the little brother and sister coming through. Exactly, and it's a real must spend for so many upwardly mobile middle class South Africans. Okay, we're running out of time, so you're hot on this one? I'm hot on this one. You owe guys own this one in and your funds. Fabulous, we do too.